Hey soldiers, this is Sergeant Merrill, and today we're going to be talking about the 5.7 from Black Ops 2 and how this weapon is quickly becoming one of the most popular pistols in first person shooters. Ah yes, we have another beautiful representation of an FN Herstal pistol. You may remember the TAC-45, also known in real life as the FNP-45, also made by FN Herstal, and these are two great representations in game. Now they have an interesting trademark on the capitalization of 5.7, where the F is capitalized at the beginning and the N at the end of 7 is capitalized, and it brings more attention uh, to the manufacturer, which is FN Herstal. And something interesting to note also is that the name 5.7 comes from its interesting round that it uses. It's very unique. The diameter is 5.7 by 28 millimeters, which is the same round that the P90 uses, uh, which is also an FN Herstal weapon. If you don't know what the P90 is, it's a personal defense weapon. You may recognize it from previous iterations of Call of Duty, and it's used by a lot of military and police organizations. And the 5.7 was built by FN Herstal to go along with it. And the reason for that was after the success of the P90, which let's make no mistake, the P90 is successful. It's a very good personal defense weapon used by a lot of military and police organizations. And the round that the P90 uses is pretty unique. So to go along with it, they developed this pistol so these, these military and police organizations can save money by not having to carry you know, both the 5.7 and the 9mm for their pistols. Now they only need to carry one round. And when it comes to these organizations, they always look for stuff like that. So to say that this weapon is popular is a little bit of an understatement considering that it is in service with military and police forces in over 40 nations throughout the world. And it's not just popular in real life. This thing is tremendously popular in the gaming world as well. You may remember it uh, from Modern Warfare 3, but this weapon has been featured in dozens of games. I mean, just to name off a few, it's been in War Inc. It's been in Ghost Recon Future Soldier. It's been in Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Splinter Cell, SOCOM, Rainbow Six, everywhere, guys. Resident Evil 4, The Hidden, Dead Rising. Uh, this is a super popular pistol, and it's not just because it's riding on the success of the P90, it's proven itself as an outstanding weapon. Now, this thing already had quite a few rounds in Modern Warfare 3. I think it had 15 or 16. But now in Black Ops 2, the damn thing has 20 rounds, which is actually the correct capacity with this weapon. It is a 20 round magazine when you, you know, have a 5.7 in real life. Now when you combine that with the fact that in Black Ops 2, as we've already seen on this channel and discussed in detail, the secondaries are no joke and you can make it work for you in ways that don't work for primaries. Or you can play in a play style that is just completely unique from going with primaries when you go secondary only. Uh, this weapon is outstanding. It does have a two-hit kill capacity at point-blank range. It is an absolute laser beam. That's one of the things I truly enjoy about it. There's like no recoil with this weapon at all. It's it's amazing. It's like what, where to go. It's nowhere. <laughs> the, the developers forgot to put it in for this weapon. I mean, to, to play with something that is supposed to be a secondary, uh, that has absolutely no recoil, that's an absolute laser beam, with 20 rounds in the magazine, is something completely different to me uh and it resulted in a, i got a lot of hate messages when i play with this i'm gonna go ahead and be honest and one of the best things about this is to listen to some of the some of the shit talk that you hear you know when you're playing uh kill confirmed or domination and you kill the enemy and they have a mic you can hear them for a few seconds <laughs> there's nothing like getting in a lobby where the entire other team has mics and every time you kill somebody you you hear fuck this guy man <laughs> <laughs> and as the round goes on, you can hear them progressively get more and more upset. <laughs> this weapon will accomplish that for you. This weapon will will earn you that uh, <laughs> that particular situation. Uh, now, as far as attachments, I, I approach this a lot different than I did the TAC-45. With the TAC-45, I said I did not like the laser sight. I felt as if the laser sight was getting me into trouble. And I think a big part of that was because the TAC-45 only holds 10 rounds. And this holds 20. Uh, and when you put extended clip on it, it holds 26. So I didn't feel as if I was getting into trouble with the laser sight. I felt it helped out quite a bit. And when I combined it, I used secondary gunfighter. When I combined it with extended clip, it was it was just a magical combination for me. I was able to go to, go into a room and just blast the hell out of everybody in there because I had so many rounds. The hip fire was so good. And with the laser beam capabilities of this weapon, uh, it was a lot of fun. Now, a lot of people are praising it as the best secondary. There's that triple that you saw at the beginning of the video. I love that. Um, a lot of people are praising it as as their as the best secondary, as the best pistol. 
and I can't I can't sit here and say that it's better than the TAC-45. What it does have over the TAC-45 is that it does have significantly more rounds and a lot less recoil. I mean, I'm sure this has some recoil, but you don't really feel it. So there, it does have that going for itself. Uh, it's not a long range weapon, but damn can you nail people down, even if it is a six hit kill because this thing doesn't move when you fire it. So it's a little bit of a trade off. And I think a lot of people are gonna debate back and forth which one they think is the best pistol. Uh, I think more people are going to perform better with the 5.7 than the TAC-45, but when you get those people who know how to put rounds on target and do it well, the TAC-45 will perform better than this weapon. So let's go ahead and put it to the comment section. Which weapon do you think is better, the TAC-45 or the 5.7? And let me know why. Also in the comment section, let me know what weapon you might want to see next uh, in this review of weapons. But that's all I have for this particular video. This is Sergeant Merrill, out here.